morning guys happy friday to you guys it's only thursday for us I had the craziest morning so far gabby came downstairs two hours earlier than she usually wakes up and i said why are you awake so early and she said oh bailey woke me up for you guys that are new um and you don't know we are res we rescued a baby crow and he is 12 weeks old now 12 weeks old and he kind of roams around the house at free will during certain times of the day anyways i was like of course he didn't wake you up i know he's been hanging around the stairs lately but he's never gone upstairs so i ran upstairs and i came in so in gabby's room i show you what i saw walking into her room and yeah it's true you woke up gabby how how could you do that you better not poop on that bed better not poop on her bed Literally, you climbed on your on her bed. He's like, I just wanted her to get up. I didn't want to be alone. I didn't want to be alone. The door was open and climbed on top of the bed. I don't know if that means that he just wanted to be with us. He wanted to be with her or what's going on. But he just learned to climb up the stairs. Listen, I know you love people. And I know that you love affection. But you can't sleep in our beds. No, you can't. I know. You're such a handsome boy. Look at how pretty his beak is, you guys. See if I can get a good picture. He likes to have his beak scratched. Yes, you do. You like to have your beak scratched, huh? Isn't he the prettiest bird? His wings are so big now. He's like, I'll just go to sleep. All cuddled in for a nap. I just wanted a comfy bed. I hate the newspaper I have in my bed. You just wanted to sleep in her bed, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're such a pretty bird. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. It does not bode well for him that he's such a f nice bird. All right, you have to go out of here. Get ready. He's not going to want me to pick him up. Not happy that you, my friend, have been evicted. You are evicted. You are not to go upstairs. If you want to run free in this house, Okay. Run free in this house, but don't go up the stairs. I'm gonna have to get a baby gate, specifically for the stairs, so the bird can't go up there. Oh look, he's like, pet me, pet me. Yeah, he loves Gabby, huh? I can't believe the bird tried to climb in bed with you. How did you wake up? You just heard him flapping? No, I just heard him. Oh, he was like, Gabby, wake up. And then you looked over and there was a bed, a bird in your bedroom? No. What? It was outside my bedroom. Outside your like bedroom? At the top of the stairs, like you just climbed up. And I was like, ah! Good morning, guys. Hello. Welcome to this video. Bailey, you are trouble. Are you a trouble bird? You know what he needs? He needs some toys. Let's get him some toys. We were just leaving the library. I was about to video in there, but then all these people were staring at me and then I felt weird, so I didn't do it. But anyway, we are headed out to get something super fun that for Gabby's new sunroom. Cannot wait to show you guys. Um, but in the meantime, you guys can watch Gabby's footage from her riding. Usually they ride on separate days, but since it's in summer, our um, schedules have all been mixed up. So Gabby rode on Monday with Sophie, but you're gonna get to see that footage now. All right, we're headed down to the all the way to the barn to get the horses for today's lesson. You want to clean the stalls? You can if you want. You you're, getting, doing that. you're getting blue? Alright. Oh, here comes Gabby with blue. He's a slug. Blue's a slug? Yeah. In the morning, he's a slug. He's a slug in the morning? See? Si. Too slow? Yes. You're gonna have to wake he's him actually up. walking like a walk. You're gonna have to wake him up. 
Okay, move it all the way down. So I can walk. <laughs> can walk as, he can walk as fast as Dad can walk. You're a little bit too close to the electric. Oh, there we go. There comes Gabby right behind me. Blue wants to eat the trees. Oh. You alright, Gabby? What? You alright? Yes! Alright, so what's your first thing to do when you get to the back there? I'm gonna go put him in his um, tacking up stall and then um, get him brushed up and then tacked up and bridled. Oh. Hopefully he'll be a good boy for me. Guys. You're riding right as soon as you get there, right? So you got to be a little bit quicker than normal? Yeah. All the jumps are ready. Maybe they're all set up for you. Too many jumps, maybe? Yeah, too many. We had the barn earlier and there's a bunch of kids in there. and um, There's a whole bunch of jumps, but I don't think she's going to jump all of them. Because there was a lot of jumps there. But I guess we'll see what happens. Are you glad to be riding Zig uh, Blue today? Yeah, I'm glad to be riding a big slug. Glad? And I actually love him. Yeah, it's your favorite horse for now. I'm just going. <coughs> favorite horse for now. Oh, we're at the barn. We made it to the barn. Here comes Gabby with Blue. Blue! Short for blueberry. How are you doing, Blue? Are you awake this morning? I mean... You awake this morning? Tag team brush to get Gabby's lesson going here. Make sure you get his back because that's where all the dirt is going to be, right? Yeah. Get up there and get his back. Where the saddle's gonna go. We're just getting the hook picking going. I don't think you're riding till nine, right? Oh, boy. oh there goes Gabby. Why? Braid and blues hair. Baby. Yeah. Baby. Gotta be tacking up. This is your salad. Do you want to take it out to your stone? Perfect. And then the salad cutting goes right there as well, okay?
You want to ride Ziggy now? No. That's it, Blue. You want to get one? You want to get one? Bye. Saying goodbye to Blue. Bye, Blue. We have been fooling around with this sunroom trying to figure out what we wanted. So basically what we got was a trundle bed, but it kind of looks like a couch. It is a couch as well. Yeah, so basically this is like a sofa. And once it's all made up, they'll be able to lay in there, lay on the bed and watch TV. Or they can even sit there. Uh, you want to move the TV? Up in the corner. Here. Yeah, right, and that'd well, be better. No, because you lay here. Yeah, but yeah, okay. So what then, on whenever they want to sleep here, the bottom, Mommy. they want to sleep here, the bottom, well, that's because you have a carpet there. You have a carpet over there. But the bottom pulls no. out, and then they can both sleep here together. Try your bed, Sophie. It's just full. It's, going it's on wheels. Whoa. Is it cool? Yeah, cookie. Now if I roll down, I could fall on something. So basically, we've got the bed couch area over there, and then we've got the schleich over here, but I have it covered up. Why do I have the schleich covered up, Gabby? Because it'll get sunbleached. Gabby's super... I told you. Yeah, Gabby is super worried that her schleich is going to get sunbleached. So to fix that, we're going to have to get blinds for in here. So blinds and a carpet are the next thing. Also, we need to figure out what we're doing about this. So we have the DVD player that works the TV and we're going to have to probably get a stand, some kind of a shelf that goes there because it won't fit anywhere. So what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. Literally when we got that today, I thought it would be a better fit. I thought it would be smaller, but it's not and there's not that much room for Schleich. Well, as long as the bed is pushed in, there's lots of room for Schleich, I think. Anyway, I also feel like we should have some kind of a shelving system to, for the Schleich. I don't know. It's still a work in progress, but I think we did. A, I think this is good. I think this is super cool. It's a couch and a bed, so that and a bed big enough for both of them to sleep in. So it is time for comment of the day. And we're gonna do it in the girls' sunroom and Gabby's sunroom on this nice new bed that we got. <laughs> Ow, claws, claws. Ow. So to, today's comment is from Natalie and Izzy. And she says, hi, day by day. I know you guys have been getting a lot of nice comments, but you've also been getting a lot of hate comments for no reason. I was just wondering if the girls read the comments. And basically, no, they don't read the comments. They don't ever read comments. She doesn't, they don't, they do. But we do share some of them with them. We believe that God made every single person exactly perfect for the life that they're meant to live, for the life that he has planned for them. Dead. So we do share a few, we do share some comments with them. We don't share body shaming comments and we don't share things that are just downright mean, but we do share some stuff with them and we're trying to teach them that just because somebody says something mean about you, it doesn't mean that it's true and it doesn't mean that you should feel bad about yourself. So in some ways, YouTube and all the comments um, have helped us, have helped us grow as people and helped us learn to deal with people who say mean things to you. Right? You think so? Yeah. Yeah. You think so, Sophie? Mm, I, I didn't even hear yours. I also wanted to say that on the last video, oh, come on, get out yeah, of my yeah, face. My Ugh. The dogs have been sick and they're trying to lick my face and that's just kind of grossing me out after all the stuff I've been cleaning up in their cage. Um, I think this vomit will... Yesterday I did a comment of the day from somebody who said that we should do a clothes fashion show video with our dogs and I couldn't remember who it was. It, it was a shout out. But we it was... Like Bonnie the bunny. Bonnie the bunny gave us that idea and we are super excited next week. Hopefully I probably well, actually the girls are in summer or er, in horse camp. horse camp next week, but hopefully next week we'll be able to make that with video. And very last we're doing three comments of the day today. It, the very last one comes from Tegan Redden and she says, "Hey, do you have an address where I can send you gifts?" Nope, we do not have an address where you can send us gifts yet and you don't even Soon. have to and you don't even have to send us gifts, but a lot of you guys, especially on Instagram, have expressed a desire to send us letters and pictures, and we would love to get those. Absolutely love to get them, so we are gonna get a P.O. box um, sometime in August. I don't know when, because we're really busy, and we have that information, we will pass it along to you guys, and we are really excited to get mail from you guys. That's it for today, guys. If you like this video and wanna see another one, kind of like it, and click the i card, 
in the top right corner it's the top left for us but um yeah to watch a mystery video see you tomorrow bye and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below